Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alexson, and welcome everybody to a brand new series on the channel, and this is Minecraft Fallout. Of course, guys, as it is a new series, I would love to see how much support you guys can show on this episode, as well as for the future episodes. And of course, if you guys can all hit that like button, that'd be fantastic. So this is Minecraft Fallout. So how to get on the server, it's pretty simple. The IP is play.lunar.network. Make sure you guys are 1.8. After you enter that IP, all you have to do is when you're on the, in the lobby, click on the compass and then click on m the vault. As you can see, uh, that's the name of this uh, actual world, this area. So once you click on the vault, you'll enter right about here and you're ready to go. So today we're going to go explore a bit. As you can see here, we have the wall of heroes, which is the owner here and all the other members who've been working on this build. As you can see, I am using a texture pack and this texture pack is given to you once you enter the world. And I'm going to show you guys quickly around here before we go into the actual uh, way land so as you can see around here they have other cool things that you can do so for example you have the pawn shop which you can sell junk items and buy materials here you have villagers and the coolest part look at this guys the texture pack is so cool they have a lot of 3d models and look at this I can sit down in a chair isn't this awesome it's a really really unique um, server in my opinion I love the texture pack and yeah so as you can see we can just sell all this stuff to our um, you know traders here and things of that nature and you can keep going around you have a gun sh uh, gun store here and you can go here you are starting to feel thirsty oh no see as you can see you also need water bottles and there you go the thirst levels are all the way to your right of the bar as you can see my thirst is 39% actually now it's 58 because I just drank a water bottle so that's always important to make sure you have that on you so as you can see here this is the gun shop you can buy yourself some weapons now the good thing is I actually already have some weapons which is fantastic from exploring the wastelands a few so that's fantastic and as you can see you keep going around and you have all these other places and actually we're gonna go and buy ourselves some craftable items now we have a lot of stuff here now I want to create a metal chest plate because I personally think that's going to be you know for the most part really important for us so let's Let's get this going. Let's craft. Uh, is it six of them? Okay, so six. There we go. So we have ourselves a metal chest plate, and we could go for a helmet. Um, I think we do have enough for a helmet. Yes, we do. So we'll go for a helmet. There we go. Three of those. And bam. So as you can see, it's pretty awesome. You have a lot of things you can do. You can do tool upgraders and all this cool stuff. I don't want to keep talking too much about this area. I know you guys want to see the wasteland. Let's throw on this gear. Look how awesome this looks, guys. This is really fantastic. I love this. It's going to be an awesome series for the most part. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Over here, you have the general store so you can purchase food and other, you know, entities that you really need. So you have general merchant here. Um, and you have all these things. You have vault credit and it's really cool. Look at this, guys is a 3d model of a tv isn't that awesome this place is really looking awesome all right so you keep going around you have a medical facility here for the doctor um and you got all these other cool things an armor store you have a key store oh and i do have keys i believe so oh this is to buy keys okay never mind but i do oh and also these are chests here if you guys don't know it's textured as a chest and every single chest around here you can actually pick up items and use it for what you need so we're gonna go right now into the wasteland I'll show you guys it's pretty cool I gotta be honest with you and over here you have the traveling merchant so you can always sit down and, and watch some TV well kind of watch some TV but look how awesome this is guys and also check this out look how cool that looks the little barrel of fire inside so that's pretty awesome so I'm not sure if you can actually refill water. Oh, you can. So you can uh, uh, right click and refill with your empty water bottle. So you don't need as many, but it's good to have a few. So here we go, guys. We're going to enter the wasteland and bam. Let's do this. So here we go, guys. This is the wasteland. As you as you can see, we teleport here. And after this, once you pass these walls, you're in the wasteland. And there are bandits out there that are... It, it, you'll see for yourself. It's a really cool adventure. Um, and there are chests all around here. You just got to see which one is the correct chest. Pretty sure one of them here is a chest. I think this one's a chest. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe not. I think there's some on this side as well. But there you go, guys. I do have a Desert Eagle. I have a double barrel, shotgun, and a pipe, which is really cool. So I think for the most part, we're going to go off and explore the wasteland. This is uh, <laughs> Squidward. What does he have for us here? So we can actually buy some basic items. We don't need anything. We're just going to go and explore this place. All right, so I think... 
I think for the most part, I want to go and travel. Oh, is this a chest? There we go. So we can get some more scraps in here. That's pretty good. So every chest you see, make sure you loot it out, guys, because there will be items for you there to collect. And that's always a cool thing. And uh, let's keep looking around and see what we can find. I think there's a lot of stuff around here. There's a lot of buildings broken down. The texture pack really makes it look really interesting and unique in its own way. So that's awesome. I believe this is a gas station. Whoa, this looks really cool. As you can, look at the texturing of this little gas station as 3D model. This is why it's it's just really fantastic, this server and the texture pack. And it really does make it feel cool. So you can actually have a vehicle and you can refuel. So that's actually pretty interesting. I don't think there's anything around here. No, okay. So we're going to go and check out some more homes. Oh, just fell in a hole. And see what we can find for the most part. I know that there's a lot of cool things to explore around here. There are roads, there's everything. But man, this texture pack really does the trick. Alright, so we have pistol ammo. And an, uh, what's this? A health syringe. A double barrel shotgun, which we'll keep as well for emergencies. We already have one. And the 3D models are really awesome and fantastic. Whoa, guys. Check this out. Okay, so over here we have a sign. So it looks like a crosswalk of some sort. Ooh, what is this? This looks really beat down. All right, so it's like a small little town that's kind of just been destroyed by the ruins and everything. So, all right, let's go see what we can find. Again, this is Fallout themed. I'm going to try to do some more cool things with it, so it's going to be fantastic. Also, you cannot have an item when you want to sit down. So now I can sit down and look how cool that looks, guys. <laughs> just a little seat right there after a long walk, so not too bad. Always make sure your thirst levels are, you know, on point. You can't have them falling. All right, what is this? I can't break that. Actually, can I break this? That's actually a good question. I don't think I can. Okay, cool. I thought you can break certain items, but I guess not. Oh, food's definitely important. Some empty scraps. Are these? What are these? All right, let's just keep going around. See what else we can find around here. Some supplies. Looks like a table. All right. So also the poker chips are pretty much junk. So you can actually trade those in uh, when you get back to the actual little vault down there, which is really cool. Oh, what's this guy here? What the heck? Oh, it's a villager. So we can actually trade with villagers here for items. Whoa, what was this? Oh no, what the heck is this thing? Back off, dude. There we go. That was intense. I don't know what the hell <laughs> that was. That was kind of freaky. All right, anything else? Some canned food. I'll take that. All right, let's keep looking around. So there's villagers around here, which is pretty cool. All right, nothing in here. All right, let's keep searching around. I don't think we have to stay in this village for too long. As you can see, it's kind of really just destroyed. There's really nothing left around here. So let's go and find our way out. I guess we're going to have to do some parkour. And what is that building? There's a lot of buildings that I just want to check out. I want to go see what that is, and then eventually we'll go and check out that place. But this is going to be a long-term series for the most part. I think you guys are going to really enjoy this Fallout series. And potentially, I can always um, add members to this, and we could try and do a roleplay maybe with this. Just like a, kind of like a server roleplay. But for the most part, you know, I'm enjoying it how it is currently. So there's no rush. Um, all right, let's check out this. Hey, there's a dog. This is exactly like Fallout. There's a dog. I think you can actually collect dogs too um, and have it as a pet. Um, so that's another thing. Oh, there we go. So I think cooked beef can actually start to like, you can start taming your dog. But I know that it doesn't work yet. I tried a few times to collect an actual dog, but um, it's really difficult. So yeah, I don't know why. They're just really difficult to collect, I guess. Maybe I'll have to talk to the owners and see what the deal is or what the trick is. Maybe you have to buy them. I'm not sure. All right, so we're going to get ourselves some Volt credits. Some more, uh, I guess, some more junk that we can collect. Some food, some berries. And I don't really need the Desert Eagle, even though I do have one. All right, let's... Oh, my goodness. There's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so we have a lot of food and more junk. All right, perfect. So, what is this called exactly? Some scrap metals. All right, we can actually definitely do a lot with that and upgrade. There's another dog here, too. So, I guess they're kind of all over the place, but uh, I know that for sure it's difficult to actually collect them. So, I'm not going to waste any more food. But I want to go check out that place. Whoa, what is that? That looks like an actual facility of some sorts. Alright, we're going to have to go see what that's all about in this episode and see what we can find there. But I want to see what this building is. It's kind of like out in nowhere here. So I kind of want to see what this is all about. But that looks like a big prison facility. I'm not sure exactly. Alright, let's check it out. Let's go in here. Oh my goodness. Oh, these are bad guys. Okay, there we go. Reload, reload, reload. These are actual bandits, guys. They're level 5, so they're difficult to take out. That's insane. This is why this server is just so cool, personally. Because they have bandits. And bandits, you have to make sure you take out. And uh, if not, they're going to kill you. And you do not want to lose anything. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at all this stuff. 
This is stuff that we can actually trade at our actual vault. As you can see, they have lighter, this is sunglasses, the leather scraps, scrap metal, and coffee mugs. So we can actually do stuff with those. That's pretty cool. What is this thing here? Looks like a type of machine. I'm not sure what exactly. All right, let's keep looking around. Looks like a TV here. Hopefully there aren't any more bandits around here, but we'll see. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here. I don't need everything. Of course, taking some extra scraps is always a benefit because eventually we're going to use them for trades, as always. But there is a lot of scraps here that I'm going to take. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, there's a lot of stuff. This is kind of insane. Um, oh, double bear shotgun. I don't really need that. Um, I want to take as much stuff that I need. Mostly scraps. Let's see, scraps. Oh, vault credits are good too. Or vault. Yeah, vault credit. Okay, I said that right. I thought I was mistaken for a second. All right, let's keep looking around. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of scraps. All right, we're going to take some of this food, and we're going to go and check out whatever that building was over there because that looked kind of intriguing. I want to see what that's all about. We already ran into some bandits, so that was kind of intense. Um, there's some more buildings down there. All right, how does one get into this place? Let's figure it out, guys. I don't know. Should we go there first of all? All right, no, let's just go and find out what is this all about. Can we get in here? That's the real question. I believe you can. It looks like some type of prison or courtyard. I can't really be too clear on what it is. Oh, there's an entrance. I guess we're going to make our way in here. All right, let's just see whatever what gear we can find. All right, so this is some junk items that we can collect. Okay, we do have our pipe, which is definitely handy here and there. Scraps, all right, vault credits. All right, let's go down in this direction and see what else this place has. I feel like this is an area for bandits of some sorts. I'm not sure. But uh, we got to make sure we're safe. All right, let's keep going around. Looks like some bathrooms here. Are these bathrooms? It looks like it could be a bathroom. No, maybe prison cells. Maybe prison cells. All right, let's look around. Anything around here? Definitely not. Okay, so let's go and keep exploring around here. I don't know what we're going to find, but this is quite intense for the most part. I did not expect to see something so big around here. So this is actually really cool. I love the texture and everything about this server. All right, these are some big towers or whatever they are. I think they're towers. All right, let's um, let's see. What's in here? Oh, you're start. Wait, you are starting to feel really thirsty again. Oh, okay. Let's drink up some water. Those are really healthy or helpful reminders. So that's also really beneficial. Um, some scraps. Oh, a lot of cooked food. What happened to our? Are we getting slowness? Why do we have slowness? Oh, I guess that's what happens when you're not hydrated enough. What is this, guys? All right, let's eat up some food. I'm kind of nervous to find out what this is, but we're just going to go in here and, and give it our best shot and see what the heck this is. It looks like an underground facility, some type of base. All right, there's a lot of stuff here. I'm not going to take everything. They got tables already set up. They got some other things. Take some scraps, some vault credits. Those are good currencies. All right, let's just go around and, and, and keep exploring. I don't know what this is here. Some barrels. It looks like there could be people down here. I'm not really entirely sure. All right, we're going to have to take this out. What is this thing? Oh, okay. There we go. We killed it. No worries. All right. Are there any bandits down here? I feel like there would be a bandit. You killed this party. You received one point. Oh, cool. Hey, look at that. We got some other things. Oh, they have MCMMO, I guess. I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like that's what it is. Oh, I just wasted some ammo. Um. Oh, what's this? It's like a little radio. Okay, that's cool. All right, let's keep looking around. I don't see any bandits around here, but uh, I'm pretty sure there would be a lot of bandits for the most part. Um, just looking around, I feel like they would definitely be patrolling these tunnels. And it looks like this would be something that the bandits would live in. So I'm not entirely sure. We're going to have to find out in the future. But as again, I'm going to say this uh, so I can kind of like make sure you guys understand. I'm actually going to be on vacation. So there might not be a second episode of this until I come back. So that could be later in July. So I just wanted to upload this for the most part to get this video out and show you guys how cool this server is. And hopefully you guys are going to come on here as well and survive the Fallout world and the Wasteland world with me and see how far we can take this. All right, can I break this by any chance? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, so I actually can break cobwebs. That's, oh, I can't. Okay, I thought I could. Um, all right, let's keep looking around, see where we can find some spiders. There's a lot of spiders down here. Maybe not. What is this? This is kind of creepy down here. All right, it's getting darker and darker. Let's see. This is opening up to some place. Whoa, look how cool this is. I really love these tables and the 3D models. They're absolutely fantastic, I really have to say. Um, all right, so I'm probably going to 
hold off here and, and wait off until the next episode when I get back from vacation. But as always, guys, if you enjoyed today's episode of the Minecraft Fall, make sure you guys all hit that like button. Of course, leaving a like does go a long way and definitely show support on this series. And if you guys want to see more, of course, let me know in the comment sections. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you guys are new. I'm probably going to go take a little seat. I don't see anyone bothering us so far. Well, at least I hope so. So let's take a seat. And yeah, my name is Alex. Let me take this helmet off and see you guys next time. Peace out and stay foxy.